Hi everyone, it's Katrina. From a lost German bunker in Normandy to one of the oldest objects in the solar system, here are 10 incredible recent discoveries. Number 10. German Bunker Until 2006, German bunkers used against the Allied forces in Normandy remained hidden. The bunkers, which are part of the Maisy Battery Complex, are located two miles inland from Omaha Beach, the landing area for the Allied invasion known as D-Day. But now, recent excavations have continued to uncover more of the bunkers. The Discovery Channel series Expedition Unknown featured the hidden headquarters in a recent episode. Josh Gates, host of the show, said we discovered huge Nazi bunkers that haven't seen the light of day in 75 years. It's two large bunkers, each one of them containing three or four large rooms. These are fairly large structures with hallways and multiple rooms and staircases. The 20-acre battery contained 14 huge guns when it was still operational. Due to its proximity to the landing beaches of Omaha and Utah, it became one of the largest German defensive positions and was also part of a chain of German defensive installations along the coast of northern France known as the Atlantic Wall. Maisy Battery was ultimately captured by U.S. Army Rangers. But after the war ended, it slipped into obscurity for over 60 years, overgrown with foliage and concealed by nature. In fact, until it was rediscovered, the bunker was more or less undetectable to the naked eye. Light detection and ranging, or LiDAR technology, has helped uncover more of the hidden bunker's secrets. Evidence shows that the bunker ceiling was either burned during the fight to capture the site or afterward. Maisy Battery is open to the public, although researchers are still working on unearthing it and learning all it has to tell us about this dark period in world history. Number 9. Underwater Buddha Statue Renovation works often reveal long-forgotten objects, but workers in the Jiangxi province couldn't have possibly expected to find something of such significance as they began construction of a hydropower gate on a reservoir. The work caused the water levels in the area to fall, which revealed a 600-year-old Buddha statue, looking quite peaceful out over the water. It's thought that the statue dates back to the Ming Dynasty from 1368 to 1644, or maybe even earlier to the Yuan Dynasty. What's more, it was just the first sign of archaeological significance there because the base of an ancient temple was also found under the water. Archaeologists found that the reservoir had been built on the ruins of an ancient town called Xiaoxi, meaning that all of the treasures that were too large to move were simply flooded in 1960. Over time, everyone forgot about it. Surprisingly, the water is thought to have helped preserve the Buddha, which is why it looks in such great condition, even though it's been there for more than six centuries. Now tourists and locals come to visit the site and a preservation plan is underway. Number 8. The Black Boxes of Egypt Twelve miles south of the Great Pyramid of Giza, archaeologists discovered a cave system buried in a hillside with 24 giant black boxes. These coffin-shaped boxes were found in a burial site in Saqqara and are thought to be from 3,300 years ago, during the time of Ramses II to the time of Amenhotep III. These strange boxes are carved from solid Aswan granite and weigh more than 100 tons each. The lid alone weighs 30 tons. These boxes were crafted with extreme precision and they have some hieroglyphs on them, but they are so crudely drawn that they are thought to be ancient graffiti rather than the original design. Ancient graffiti is still pretty cool, although who would go deep down in the ground just to leave some ancient graffiti behind? Anyway, so what were these massive stone boxes for? The main belief is that they were created as tombs for the sacred Apis bull, which were revered as representations of the god Ta. It's thought the boxes are giant sarcophagi designed to contain the mummified remains of the bulls and allow them to continue on into the afterlife. However, to this day there is still no clear explanation as remains of bulls have not yet been found, and many of them were actually destroyed when they were first discovered as archaeologists used to use dynamite to open them up. Now, archaeologists are still working on uncovering the exact nature of the Serapium of Saqqara. Number 7. Lost City of Dwarka In Hindu mythology, one of the biggest and most important cities was Dwarka or Dvaraka. While there is a city known as Dwarka, its fame comes from the ancient lost city with the same name. Known as the Gateway to Heaven, it is on the water in the northwestern state of Gujarat. The ancient city is mentioned in numerous religious texts and legend goes that the city was built by Lord Krishna and he loved it so much that he decided to live there. Modern day Dwaraka or Dwarka was believed to be built nearby or on top of the ancient city. The first clear historical record of the lost city was from 574 AD. 
It is believed that the ancient city was submerged by the sea around six times, and modern-day Dwarka is the seventh time it has been built. Based on historical records and excavations, a team of underwater archaeologists and the Indian Navy teamed up to survey the west coast of the country, where it seems they have found the ruins of Dwarka. Mythology has become reality in this archaeological site. They found sunken structural remains and objects dating back to 3000 BC. For many, this city underwater is proof that Dwarka was real and it may have indeed been made by Lord Krishna. What other legends might be real? This could just be a diver's paradise because not only are there ruins of an ancient city, but the area is also famous for its whale sharks, sea turtles, coral, and sandy beaches. Number 6. A Habitable Super-Earth? K2-18b is an exoplanet orbiting a red dwarf star 110 light-years away. In September of 2019, scientists announced the discovery of water vapor on this distant planet. So where there is water, there could be life, and the media began reporting the existence of a potentially habitable super-Earth. It would be a scientific first and a lovely thought for those who believe climate change is destroying our planet. K218b is the first known exoplanet, or a planet outside our solar system, to consist of water, an atmosphere, and a temperature range that could support liquid water on the surface. A Goldilocks planet that is just right. One researcher even referred to it as our best candidate for habitability. It's a little too soon to say whether or not K218b is a livable place. While the Hubble Space Telescope has detected water vapor in the exoplanet's atmosphere, it's highly unlikely that humans are going to relocate there, or that life is a realistic prospect on K218b, period. At least, not anytime soon. Astronomer Laura Kreidberg set the record straight in a Scientific American article. She pointed out that K218b is the smallest planet where atmospheric features have been detected, and that this is a monumental technical achievement. The exoplanet is within a habitable distance of its host star, in a zone where liquid water could exist on an Earth-like planet. It is 2.7 times the size of our planet, and with an extended atmosphere with a significant concentration of hydrogen, it's more like Neptune. The pressure and temperature on the planet's surface and at its core are likely too high for the formation of complex molecules like DNA. Is there some form of life already there? Maybe we'll find out. Number 5. Giant Cave Hall in 2017, a team of researchers went to explore a sinkhole in China's Guanxi Zhuang Autonomous Region, and they couldn't believe what they found. Deep in the misty valleys in the ominous-looking hole is one of the most stunning cave halls in the world. To get there requires going down a rope at least 200 meters long, and then you will find yourself inside the 6.7 million cubic meter cavern. A Chinese-British joint expedition went to explore the sinkhole and were able to determine its size with three-dimensional scanning. Inside is beautiful, clear blue water, collapsed rocks, small waterfalls, and amazing examples of many geological features. It's a place unlike anywhere else on Earth. Named the Haiting Hall after the first explorers that found it, further expeditions are planned to survey the cave hall to see what else can be learned about the region and just how far the underground network extends. Number 4. Our Common Grandmother It turns out that we humans are all distantly related. An October 2019 study published in the online journal Nature narrows down our lineage by suggesting that every single person alive today descends from a woman who lived roughly 200,000 years ago in what is now Botswana. The ever-advancing ability to sequence prehistoric genomes is helping scientists better understand everything from where our ancestors came from, their migration patterns, their relationships, and down to what they ate. The findings claim that contemporary populations in southern Africa represent the earliest branch of human genetic phylogeny, which means that the earliest development or diversification of our species started here. Researchers drew their conclusions by analyzing mitochondrial DNA, which is passed down exclusively from our mothers. If what they're saying is in fact true, it bolsters the hypothesis that modern human ancestors migrated out of Africa, then spread throughout the world, challenging an opposing theory that we evolved simultaneously in different parts of the globe. Where do you think we came from? Let me know in the comments below! Number 3. A Black Hole Caught on Camera We've been fascinated by black holes, but what exactly are they? NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory website defines a black hole as an extremely dense object from which no light can escape. Anything that comes within a black hole's event horizon, its point of no return, will be consumed, never to re-emerge, because of the black hole's unimaginably strong gravity. 
So how do we know if one is there if we can't see it? Nobody had ever witnessed a black hole until scientists finally captured the first ever image of one in April 2019. This historic feat was achieved by the Event Horizon Telescope, or EHT, an international network of radio telescopes and collaboration of researchers. Around a black hole, there is a hot disk of material that goes around it that shines very brightly. The photograph captured by the EHT shows the shadow of a black hole cast against a vivid backdrop. The supermassive black hole featured in the image is located 55 million light years away, in the center of an elliptical galaxy called Messier 87. Its mass is 6.5 billion times that of our Sun. At first glance, the somewhat blurry picture may not be very impressive until you realize that capturing it required eight ground-based radio telescopes throughout the globe, working together like one massive telescope. Paul Hertz, director of the Astrophysics Division at NASA headquarters in Washington, said that years ago we thought we would have to build a very large space telescope to image a black hole. By getting radio telescopes around the world to work in concert like one instrument, the EHT team achieved this decades ahead of time. Number 2. Emperor Nero's Sphinx Room In 2018, archaeologists were working on the restoration of Emperor Nero's palace in Rome when they found something completely unexpected – a secret underground chamber. Inside was a series of colorful animal frescoes, which depicted images of panthers, centaurs, and a sphinx. The palace, known as the Domus Aria, was built more than 1900 years ago following the fire of 64 AD that destroyed large parts of Rome. It was Nero's pride and joy, but hasn't stood the test of time so well. Efforts are underway to regain some of its former glory, and this new discovery further shows how enamored with art the emperor was. It's been nicknamed the Sphinx Room by workers because of one of the standout images, but there are also murals of flowers, leaves, fruit, aquatic creatures, exotic birds, and the god Pan. Unfortunately, the room is buried by tons of earth, and disturbing it could jeopardize the foundations upon which the rest of the palace is built. It'll therefore take quite some time until the full extent of what's in there is known, but the investigations began in early 2019 and may one day reveal more secrets about one of Rome's most infamous emperors. Remember, he's the one people believe started the fire in Rome so he could rebuild the city, and a bunch of other crazy stuff. Number 1. Aerokoth Nicknamed Ultima Tula and officially named Aerokoth, which means sky in the Powhatan Algonquian language, 2014 MU69 is a mysterious object within the Kuiper Belt, a collection of icy rocks at the outer reaches of our solar system. NASA's New Horizons science team discovered it in 2014 using the Hubble Space Telescope. The 21-mile-long space rock is composed of two spherical lobes joined by a neck, or as New Horizons principal investigator Alan Stern put it, a snowman. The two lobes likely started out as separate objects, which eventually collided at less than a mile per hour. While Arakoth is just one of countless KBOs, its shape is unlike that of any other space object ever seen. Shortly after midnight on January 1, 2019, the New Horizons probe flew past Arakoth. What a way to start a new year! As the spacecraft whizzed past the Kuiper Belt object, the KBO, at 32,200 miles per hour and from about 2,000 miles away, it snapped hundreds of photos. At 1 billion miles past Pluto and over 4 billion miles from Earth, MU69 is the most distant object humanity has ever visited. For Arakoth, one trip around the Sun takes around 293 Earth years. New Horizons co-investigator Jeff Moore from NASA's Ames Research Center in California said, We think what we're looking at is perhaps the most primitive object that has yet been seen by any spacecraft and may represent a class of objects which are the oldest and most primitive objects that can be seen anywhere in the present solar system. According to NASA's website, Arakoth is thought to be a well-preserved sample of what the outer solar system was like when it formed more than 4.5 billion years ago. Thanks for watching! Would you like to learn more about incredible scientific discoveries? Let me know in the comments below! And be sure to subscribe if you're new here! See you next time! Bye!